Artichoke is a London-based arts production company that produces extraordinary and ambitious ephemeral events that love in the memory forever, transforming people's lives by changing the way they see the world. In 2015, Artichoke brought American artist David Best de Derry. They work with local residents on a radical arts project called Temple. This turned the tradition of bonfire burning on its head, a shared 72 foot high temple, which was set alight and ceremonially burnt. Fela is Derry's leading community arts organisation. For several years, Fela has been working with residents, young people and partner organisations to develop alternatives to traditional bonfires which continue to be associated with antisocial behaviour and sectarianism. In early 2022, Artichoke offered Fela the opportunity to bring a group of young men from Craigan to take part in their latest project with David Best, Sanctuary, in Bedworth, England. Taking young people right on the day to work on the sanctuary project. So we're building a big fire with them. Ah, I'd say bonfires have always been an issue, more so the past couple of years because the community's not really been behind it anymore. It's more the young people. The community don't want this sort of thing anymore. So when you think these young people over here and we can show them that there's an alternative, they build them a big fire and covering up in flags, you know what I mean? You can actually build something that send a message, light that in fire instead so that their voices are heard. I would have, I would have done them when I was younger, but I've growing out it a bit and I'd rather just be able to get the experience so I can pass it on to the young people of Craigan. We live in Craigan, we're over bonfires every year up in the Craigan area. Since we're ways back and going to England now for a good opportunity to find out stuff and new ways we can progress. No, I've never been to England before so I'm looking forward to going over and seeing what it's like over there, meeting new people and doing something good. My name is Paul. Uh, never been to England though, but it should be a good experience. Fela got in touch with us, they were in touch with Artichoke. We had a conversation around bonfires. Last year we did a, an amazing video with the young lads where we were able to express their, their sort of opinions on bonfires and we touched on a wee bit of why they do bonfires and what we're trying to get away from is the bitterness and hatred of burning flags and everything else. If there is a genuine message behind that, then can we not do something else and something a bit more structured, something a bit safer? And we've seen last year, one or two were nearly burnt at different fires across the way, so we're trying to make this a bit more safer and they try and get their message across in whatever way they feel and Artichoke have a great way of getting messages across and if our young people can take some of that message away and being able to tap in to that brain of David Best is a lot of bonus. Sanctuary is yeah. about um, remembering the last and, and reflecting on the last two years of um, and two and a bit years of, of COVID, um, remembering those that might have been lost or any um, loss you've had in the last few years around COVID. Although the conversation has become quite bigger about losses, um, you know, you, any personal loss or anything that you need to reflect on, not just in the last few years, but um, in your life that you want to kind of let go of through the structure. It's been really great to see people come together, work together, um, yeah, learning, making new friends. Building confidence. Building confidence. Uniting people who wouldn't usually be united and especially working on such a great project. Not too flat. Yeah. I know, but it will be. Once we add the screw in, it'll pull it down. Either, either way. Okay. Two guys, two guys can come with me. So the way I'd like some of the kids in Derry is like, um, there was talent. There was a guy called Cookie who sort of like he'd worked with us from, I think he was like 17, and at the end of it, he went into the trades. It's just like whatever you want to do, just do it. 
Uh, it's like you've got no restrictions. I, I grew up in a council estate up north. And it's like now I live out in California. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want my life to be. But it's that like, way. I mean, we're not restricted I don't by want to where stay we're here from. Like we'll hold it nice and tight. So then, then the screws and the screw gun. These are also called star bits, which are so nice because they, they just fit nice and tight. So you want this nice and solid. And then here, because they're right at this edge, we're going to come in at an angle. So I like to get my, my get it kind of started straight. Is that look straight, you guys? Go over here on the side. A, how are you going to attach? You're going to put a two by two? Or we're going to put two by twos on the on right, both sides of it. And go into the my name is Connor. I'm a youth worker from Samaria's Youth Club. The lads have been on a good shift. They have been gaining valuable experiences, life skills, building relationships with um, David and his crew. Hey, has anybody here has family that you're fishing? Me? Right. Right. Fishing? Right. Yeah. Right. Me? Yeah. You work on a boat? Aye. Yeah? So this is like sorting fish. I'm cheating. Hey! 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 In Ireland, and the football was going at the same time, the audience all started screaming for the footballers. <laughs> <laughs> when they came, you know, you, you think, okay, I've got some kids that I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with. So, I mean, I don't know anything about their past or their lives, except that they're some of the finest young men I could ever come across. You know, I mean, they're. They're pretty brilliant kids. You know? um, they've got a good sense of humor. They're hard workers, you know, and and they and they know. I think they know. You know? They're they're the future of dairy. You know, they're going to come back. They're going to go home, and they're going to build a, a bonfire for both sides. And I'm going to make you guys go home and make a homework. When you do your burn next year, this year, huh? This, this year, when you do your burn this year, you're gonna do it for both sides. Uh, huh? You are? Yeah. Okay. I'll let it let it slide back. Right? And they get it. They get that. They understand that it's, it's their responsibility to make the changes. They're making a piece for their friend Michael. They're building a section in the in the temple. For Mike, this whole ring is for Mike. Yes. And I'll feed you this material. And when someone walks in here, they're gonna go, "What is that ring about?" Uh, I like that idea. Okay. I, I love that. That's, your, that's it. That's that's uh, yours. I that belongs to you guys. Yeah. All right. You know, and that's that's what this is about. You know, I, I hate to be one of those kind of people. I do tell jokes once in a while, but not very often. But what this is about is these young kids coming from Gary that are, are going to go home with a different picture of England, you know? And they're going to come back and go, hey, no one, no one made fun of me because I'm a Catholic or I'm a Jew or I'm a Protestant, you know? So I think what this is about is these 10 guys are going to become uh, Gary spokesmen, you know? Leaders in your community. Right, so we're two days on here, boys. How are you finding it so far? It's grand, it's sweet. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it is really good. Like it's getting your land now, but uh, it's going well, eh? Mm -hmm. Enjoying it, eh? Good progress. He's met any interesting characters? Aye. Uh, she, she crazy folks over there. Ravy no. Davies, my favourite. Davies. Davies, a man. <laughs> but uh, I see new fishing from different countries. It's good getting along well with new people. Different. Just getting different looks from everybody. And, it's good, like. How have you been getting on? Day three here. What's the story? Unreal. 
It has been very, very good. Good experience for us, boys. And we're going to come back talking like yanks for the rest of our lives. Working very hard the past three days. And one more day to go and then back home, but it's been good. New skills learned, especially for boys who hasn't done journey and stuff like that there, no? So it's good getting an orange sight from Americans, no? What's the story? Ah, uh, just, just chilling here on our break. Learned a lot of new things so I have over the past few days. And uh, hopefully I can pick them, get them all to come back and show the young people the community. We started to see a lot more from the young people. They were taking initiative on what they do. They were bringing their own to the sculpture. Um, adding me point, points, asking David what, what has views on their own cre wee creations. And it shows um, the relationship which they have with the staff, with David. David has been brilliant. Um, he's engaged us with everything. For us and the lads, it's good to, to be here. The lads have enjoyed it. And we look, see, we look forward to seeing the funny sculpture as we leave today. Um, come back and next week hopefully burn it and take it from there. When you guys come back, do you got any patches like that? <laughs> They're stickers. That's our, that's our local football team back in Derry, Derry City. Okay, I want you to bring one for the to put into the temple. I'm going to take this home with me if I can. Of course you can. Here. They're for you. That's there for, oh, for you. Thank you. No thank car. You. I'll put it on my race car. Okay. But there is isn't that. Hop on a leg once again. Would you, no, would you, would, you not, would you not love to just keep it huh? there? Would you not love to just keep one forever somewhere? No? Real people. No, you know why? People destroy it. Because Mike, Mikey yeah. is only here for 11 years. Three. Right? You understand? So no, we don't want it hanging around for a long time. We want Mike's mom to see it. See it go. Love to Mike's mom, huh? You got it? Yep. Okay. All right. Good boy. It's a token of friendship, huh? Thank you. Thank you guys, huh? What a gang of people, man. Huh? Thank you guys. All right, you guys. I'll see you when you get back. Huh? It's coming to you, man. Cheers. <laughs> I don't have a very good signature. That's okay. Yeah. All right, look after each other, lads. Here. Yeah. All right. Oh. Safe travels. All right. Safe travels, boys.
So David and I were doing an in conversation with the Dean of Coventry Cathedral in the cathedral, which was a strange place for David to find himself. And uh, we did the whole conversation, and in the audience was the managing director of a local firm called NP Aeronautics, and they make all kinds of stuff with carbon fibre. So David is a big motorhead, he loves cars, he builds racing cars, and they were talking about racing cars and the kind of things that they made. And David suddenly said to him, do you make prosthetics? And he said, yeah, of course, we make the you know, high-end, state-of-the-art things. And he said, if I needed you to make an arm for a friend of mine, might you be able to do that? And the guy said, yes. And he's made a little video to off make that offer to Gary, and uh, they want to work with him in order to give him the arm. Hi Gary, this is James Kempston. I'm going to be working really close with David Best uh, and his team and our teams to, to help you out with the prosthetic arm that he's mentioned. Uh, really look forward to helping. Uh, sorry I couldn't meet you today. Um, I've got some travel. I've got to get over to North America. Um, but uh, it's going to be exciting to work with you. Hopefully you have a good evening at the Sanctuary Burn. Really look forward to some of the creativity that our team's going to put together for you. We've done some really cool stuff at MP Aerospace. Uh, we've made the Olympic winning uh, carbon fiber bike. Uh, we've done aircraft parts. I've made race cars. Uh, we've some really great stuff and uh, really look forward to working with you and uh, meeting you and we'll have you to the facility in Coventry uh, sometime here in the near future. Enjoy, chat soon, bye. Flash, that is not that good? Yep. Shall I forward it to you? All right. Yeah? Need your number. So you've now got my email. Um, anything you're uncomfortable with or you don't like or anything, just say, and we nobody will care. We'll just try and make what you need to have happen, happen. Hey! Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Why, well, that's it, folks. We're going to light this thing. We're going to burn it down. Watch it, lids. Okay. Number one. Up. Number two. Up. Number three. Up. Number four. Up. Lead them off, round the sides. Amazing, you were just proud that you'd done that, and then it was burning. The many people came out to watch it. I never thought I would get the chance to do it, but I got the chance to do it. Thank you to David and all his team that gave us the opportunity to do it. You reach out to me in California, huh? Do you? Reach out to me, huh? 
Except for well, whatever I am. We're doing burn a man. Yeah, burn a man. Yeah, reach out to me, huh? All right, see ya. Good luck on the future, huh? You brought the best thing here, you know. You guys brought the best. You know, you carried yourself so well. I'm so proud of you. You mean a lot to me, you guys, okay? <laughs> right? Yeah. Be good, be good. Huh? Be, be good, be an artist, huh? You want to be an okay. artist? Be the best. You guys are the best. Yeah. All right? Love you guys, huh? Love you too. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, David. Thanks, David. Thanks, David. Following Sanctuary, Gyari and his family, with the support of Helen Marriage from Artichoke and NP Aerospace, explored what prosthetic arm options would be most suitable. What are we doing here today? We're in Bristol today to go and visit Open Bionics, or Gary, he's getting fitted for a hero arm. What's your experience been like loving in your situation, both these? Hi, it has. Because Gary was born that way, he doesn't know any different. So he's just grown up just getting all my things. It would have been us his parents more so, they would have thought he's not going to be able to do that, he's not going to be able to do that. But Gary being Gary just tackled it, done it, and just got on with it. I just have to get on with it because that's the way I was born and can't do anything else about it, so I just get on with it. So how do you think that this will impact your life or change it in any way? I'm looking forward to getting it because it's going to give me more opportunities to work and it'll help me out with driving because if I didn't have that I wouldn't be able to drive. My company Artichoke announced that we were making another project with David Best in England this time, so a piece called Sanctuary. We announced the project and Gareth, the famous Gareth Stewart, Stewarty, phoned me up and said, is there a place for my boys on your project? So I kind of went, oh yeah, Gareth, okay. Because I love him and I love the work that he's engaged in. And it became a really seamless and beautiful thing. And then David asked me if I would help Gary find a prosthetic arm, because obviously he was born with a, a missing part of his arm. And so I embarked on that journey. With Gary, I was always conscious that it had to be Gary's choice. It wasn't me saying, oh, let me find you an arm if you didn't want it. But I think it was clear that it was something that Gary wanted. And it's been a real privilege to work with him and his mum and the people here at Open Bionics to create a solution for him that gives him an extra tool that he might otherwise never have had. OK. So, in here we have the hero arm, okay, and let's take everything out of the box, okay. So, we're going to go kind of through everything here and then over it on, alright. You can use the arm without these covers if you want to just have it kind of with everything showing. For you to charge the battery, you need to take it out of the housing, so use that little loop to pull it out. Okay, like so. So when you're putting the arm on, pop this up and you'll hear a click. When you do that, it's going to open up the frame on the arm. Tap, tap that and then you turn it. Okay, you don't need to turn it all the way. It's to where it feels comfortable. Okay, and it's going to allow you some adjustment. Open or close. Which one was easier to do? Do you remember? Close. Close. All right, so let's start with that. Let's see if you can close. That's it. Good. And now to open up would be the other one. I say, good. You open. All right. Close again. Good. And open up. 
All right, good, and close it again. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up these different objects, right? So what are, and you can use whichever grip you think it's gonna be most adequate for it. So let's start by picking up this ball here. All right. Good. And let's see if we can put it here. Nice. Okay. I'll pick up this one. That one, we're gonna put it there. Good. Pick up that. It's me. Right, thank you. Okay. That one. Awesome. Good. Now this is quite heavy, so let's see how does that look. So I know that I've been kind of talking loads. So what questions do you have? <laughs> no? <laughs> questions from the audience? Just, uh, just excited to see yeah. how it goes, not just. Nice. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. So yeah, we're pretty much set. Okay. okay. Um, I don't know if you want to like take pictures outside, uh, people like to do. Be. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because that's quite people like to then. <laughs> Do the picture, especially like with the open bionic sign yeah, and like around here. Yeah. So let's do that. We're heading back home here now uh, after getting the hero arm. It's absolutely amazing. Can't believe that it's happened. I'm so excited for Gary to try new things with. I'm so grateful for Helen and her team and everybody else for making this happen. I never believed that it would. When I first put the arm on, it was unbelievable. I never felt anything like it in my life, and I'm so thankful for it and grateful, and I can't wait to see where it takes me. I just want to say thank you to Helm, David, St. Mary's Youth Club, and Gashard Fela for helping me through the way in making this happen. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to change my life. You know, one of the things that you, what happens when you work on it with a crew is you end up falling in love with one another. You know? You really develop a friendship, you know? 